Yeah, uh, hit the top a little bit? Yeah. Okay. It feels like I haven't gotten a haircut in forever, but it's only... I know. It's just your hair grows so week fast, and a half. man. <laughs> it grows so it's only been fast. a week and a half? Probably. I got my haircut, what, last Monday? You do got a lot of hair, though. Like the Monday before last, I think? Yeah, the Monday before two days ago. Yeah, man. But I have hour long appointments. You know, like I, I, have, I feel like I have to. I can't rely on myself to do yeah, it that you, consistently. You live in a luxurious barber lifestyle. Monday <laughs> through Friday, hour long appointments. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm chilling. Take it easy. Know. Take it easy. <laughs> I would say I never stop cutting hair. Like I'm, I'm where I want to be at as yeah. far as cutting hair. Yeah. They said machines up. I held up my shears. I, <laughs> I held up these big old shears. They said Mr. Clippers up. I said Clipper, machine up. Let's do it. Which one was that one? Yes, that, oh, one. that one. That was yeah. at uh, Celebrity Orlando? Barber Studio. Or in Orlando? In Orlando. Yeah. Edwin the Barber. Orlando has a lot of battles. Oh yeah. I feel like they that. have all of them, man. Like I don't see a lot of battles out here in Tampa. Yeah. At least Jesse. Not. Used, Jesse. Jesse. When he used to do his battle here, bro. It was one of the better exotics battles, man. Really? Probably the best one. He used to do it at the Pepin Center. Mm. You remember that? You don't remember that? No, I wasn't really. Whoa. He used to have, I, I want to say, 1,000, 1,500 barbers that would pull up, bro. You never thought about doing one? Oh, yeah. I would love to. I w you know what it is, man? Like, because like, I did Barber Versus. I participated in the Barber Versus. Oh, you did? Okay. That was, actually, yeah, that was when I told you guys um, I was going to try to yeah, try you to were the Yeah, going out there, yeah. I really liked how the Barber Versus had the people vote. And sometimes it could feel like it's a popularity contest, but mm -hmm. I, I can't I can't give him any any flack, man. He did his thing, the guy who won. Yeah. But what I really loved about how Edwin did his battle is I knew exactly why. Even though it was silly reasons, but I knew exactly why. Why like, you why you didn't win or why yeah. you placed what you placed. You know one thing that would be cool is for the big ones announce the top five, right? And then announce the winners. Each of those top five you give them their scores. Yeah. You know, with all the written information and all that stuff so that they know. Yeah. Are you keeping the bottom hair for a reason? Yeah, for contrast. For contrast. For contrast, man. I, I get distracted real easily, so I don't know, like, if, if I leave that, I can, it helps me concentrate in this area. Because I feel like if I balled it out all the way, like, my eyes kind of get dragged down here, so mm -hmm. it just helps me stay concentrated. I ain't the only one. Sometimes I do that and people are like, yo, get to all my nerves and you leave that hair there. That's yeah. not cleanly, that's not, that's not organized. Like, guys, there's, there's a reason for that. It's contrast, Especially man. on some people, man, like, that helps you see the fade better. I get way too distracted. It tells me, like, the limit of, like, where I can go with, like, the shaver, so, like, I don't go too high up. Yes. That too, yeah. Yes. All right, so you guys know from previous haircuts, Number zero closed, 1.5 guard, mm -hmm. and then he's gonna blend, blend it all out. He has some some shape here around the ridge. Yeah, I'm gonna clip her over comb that. Clip her over comb, okay. Yeah. Cool, I'm excited to see that. There's I'll a number zero close, guys. Where Andis, Andis guards are the numbers, pretty much the half guard, the 116. 116, yeah. Is their number zero. So you could, you could pull that off with a, with a wall if you want to fade like this too. Yeah. I like doing my own tutorials too, but this is fun because you get different perspectives. I get to film, get the right angles. Yeah. I like this Annie comb. I believe it's Annie. Annie oh, brand. Annie. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's got the little ridges there. Yeah. This is cool because it grips the hair real nice, but it's also nice to have a white comb. So when you're cutting black hair, you see the contrast. Yeah. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use that one, but just like look at this contrast. You can actually like see the hair. Yeah. You know, so for more beginner friendly, you're definitely gonna want want to want yeah. that white comb. In the beginning, when you're learning, it's and you need to see it. It's a lot easier with the white because of the contrast. Yeah. But. And that's why Gamma now, they have white guards. You I saw their, that, their double magnetic. Very smart. But uh, like you said, like, I feel like after, you, after you're comfortable with it, you just want the best. You just want to use the best, uh, yeah. the most comfortable one for you. I think the best one would be if Annie were to make a white one of, like this with, with yeah. the, the ridges. Yeah. That would be the best clipper comb period, I think. Sometimes I like using the, the smaller wall ones just because they're a little bit smaller. Depending mm -hmm. on, the, on the person. All right, so anything you look for um, specifically when you're doing clip over comb? Nah, I mean, like, I know this is where I want to end up, and I see this is a problem right now, so mm -hmm. it is what it is. You go straight up. I'm keeping my eye, that's the problem area, right? So I'm going to start to fan out. This is what I just did with my clipper, so I'm going to start there, and then just, you know, eliminate the problem. Because that's what this is. The comb is basically just a big guard. Yep. That you can control freehand, right? So it's a thing too that it goes both ways, right? Like a guard is just a comb that attaches to your clipper. Exactly. Well, you do Again, I'm gonna keep my eye on that piece, and you know, it flows a little nicer. See, I feel like 
having a light hand actually helps you with clipper over comb too because I can just barely touch that instead of pushing it and you know cutting a hole in my canvas. This is a one and a half open. Might not fully need to do a lot but just to make sure everything's 100% connected flowing into the top. And another key I tell people like when the clipper's there I'm paying attention to the cutting teeth. Mm -hmm. I'm watching the cutting teeth feed through the hair because the, the hair doesn't get cut at the tip of the guard or even at the tip of the blade, it gets cut at the at the tip of the cutting blade, the moving blade. So many people, they'll, like, they'll do that without actually cutting hair and then they'll drop to a lower guard and think, you know, like, mm -hmm. you didn't even cut. Four. You didn't go high enough. That's something I learned from your videos is that you're not going to get the right blend unless if you, you have to push it higher, you know, you yeah. can't be afraid of... Like, yeah, of course you're going to push it higher. That's how you get a transition. Yep. I feel like, uh, do you ever miss the crunch of the master blade ever since oh you started God, yeah. using your Babyliss? And you... Yeah. Um, I will say the Boost Pluses seem to have a crunch, though. Because really? the motor's faster. So is that more about the motor or is it more about the blade? I think it's the blade speed. But then again, I think it's a combination of the two. Yeah. Like, you can't just put your Andis blade on the Seniors, for example, and expect it to have a crunch. I, I haven't tried this, but I bet you if you put them on the X-Ergos and you mm. put the Andis blade on the X-Ergos, you'll probably have a crunch. Mm-hmm. What's up, Jesse? Yo! The this go, is the legend we've been talking about, y'all. Yes, What's sir. up, bro? I What's know going on, Jesse? Yeah, this is the legend we was talking about, y'all. Yeah, so. man. We did like three videos so far. You, you, yeah. you came up a bunch of times. We've done a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were, <laughs> we were going over your story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A few times. Yeah. You went one open, now you have one closed, right? Yeah. This is the one eighth, guys. Yeah, one eighth. So I mean, I'm, I'm going straight open to close, but obviously you want to eat, like with Abraham. I still tell him, you know, go open, go halfway, yeah. then go all the way. Yeah. You know, you can go straight to close because you already know you. you know, you Once know, you, you build that motion, you can skip it. But yeah. So the online course for SMP. Yeah, SMP. Oh, that's gonna be crazy. You still gotta do the hands-on ones too, though. Yeah. So it'll be a combination. So you yeah. sign up. I'll shoot all right, so now you're doing the zero guard. Zero guard open. It seems like you're using a lot more corner with the zero guard. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely finessing it. Okay. Definitely finessing it. Is I that don't want to create a new line. You don't want to create a line? Or? Yep. Yeah. One thing that Jesse used to always say is he would come in early and he would make booth rent before any spot came in. Got out the way and the rest of the day is just money. It's yeah, it's profit. It feels good about staying late because... You know that's all profit. And we'll be four heads in by the time anyone else gets. Well, you, we were probably ten heads in by the time anyone else got here. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I definitely could see how it was a bit of, of a myth. Because when they were telling me the stories too, I'm like, that man won't get here at what time? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You went back to clipper all the way close, or? Yeah. Now for this one, I'm gonna switch it up just a little bit. I'm gonna barely ticky tack my way from the bottom going up. Cause I, I like for his fade to have a nice tight look. Okay. So more like a compressed. A little bit more compressed because he still likes to keep the low-ish fade look, you know, like a low mid. You start off clip all the way close. It looks like you're at like three I got quarters one more of the way. To go. Yeah, yeah, I got one more clip to go. So he's three quarters of the way open right now. You know, once he opens it all the way, that should land all the way in. Uh, I might go back to zero out. close. Go his hair. No C-cup? No, no C-cup. Yeah, okay. C-cups are corny. So this is a hard haircut to do, guys. Like having the shape, having no C-cup, but still a little bit lower and compressed. I, I always try to discourage my customers from having C-cups, man. I'm like, well, just fade out the temple, yeah. man. C-cups are corny. You know, it's funny because there's some barbers that put a C-cup on everyone. Yep. Coming out blurry, y'all. You'll see, like, tight detail cuts like this. I feel like the clicks kind of give me an advantage. I was not a fan of the clicks at first, man. Really? But I've learned how to, I've learned how to work with them. I don't even, part um, of honestly, system. like, even just the sound lets me know where I'm at. Yeah. You know, like, I'm, if I hear three three clicks, am I meant to do, like, halfway? Am I wait a second? Am I yeah. more than halfway? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna hit it, like, right there a little bit. But it looks like it might have fixed itself now. <clears throat> Clipper over comb combination kind of helped build a little bit of that shape. Yeah. All right, what are you doing now? Now we're getting ready to scissor up the top. Okay. So he definitely has to bring it down. Do you always cut the top last or sometimes you cut it first? More often than not, I cut it first. Okay. I'm you want to get different. the shape first yeah. on the sides? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just honestly excited to get this blend done. <laughs> I love how this blend looks every time. <laughs> 
Oh, those oh, are the, these are the big boys. These are the, the eight big inches. Boys, yeah. yeah, these are the big boys, man. I like these, especially with the swivel. And I mean, who, you know, some days I might do sectioning. Yeah, you try different techniques, yeah, you know, man. and make your own system. I never liked it when people say, no, that you do it. This is the way to do it. Yeah. Looks pretty damn good. Put your head down, Santosh. Again, with that mirror, I see a line here and I see a line here. Look at my guy, Tito. Yo, that's a good idea. If you don't sell those? No, I didn't just Yankee Candle. I just turned it around. You should get yeah. something with, uh, that you can get, you know, with your logo in it. Yeah, yeah. Because you do it anyways. That's true. If it smells good, I might, you know, like if I was sitting down and smell good, shit, let me get one of those from my house, man. That's that black cherry. Yeah. Now he's detailing, guys. Yes, sir. Seeing it in different lighting, different mirrors, right? He was using my phone a little bit to mm -hmm. see it. Mm -hmm. Is that the zero guard? Yeah, yeah, I got the zero guard. I got it closed. I'm not all the way flat. I'm still kind of like tiger claw or raking it, you know? It's not tiger claw. That's like a kitten claw. It's a kitten claw. <laughs> it's a kitten claw. You don't want tiger claw, we'll pull this one out, you know? <laughs> a kitty claw. It was actually Loco that he did a class mm -hmm. when we were getting ready to start branding. Mm -hmm. He gave us a class of vertical, vertical, start in the middle. I always remember, he said, don't be lazy. Literally put yourself on this side of the client and move, you know, take this line all the way across. Yeah, that's crispy. Now, I definitely see why you like cutting his hair. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> competitions. That's cool. Branding. I'll definitely do other cities too. Yeah. Like if I'm in other cities, other countries, I'll probably do that. I want to travel a lot more. Now that COVID's kind of, all the restrictions with COVID and the mask and stuff. Yeah. I started lighting up with, with international travel. I definitely want to travel more and go to shops and, and film. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is an underrated part too. Pick, stretch up that oh, skin yeah. and. You no, know, one thing, I, I used to always have that client that would always touch behind his ear to see if, because yeah. they would want to feel for that. Yep. Like that's a little, it's a little detail part that people care about. The razor right there in the back.